Okay, y'all, I just wanted to make a, a video and talk to y'all for a few minutes. I know y'all probably seeing me do this many videos, but uh, I want to tell y'all something that happened to me and Charles a couple days ago when I was out and about and uh, we was at a store and we was getting ready to leave the parking lot. I seen these two boys trying to push their car. And I told Charles, I said, Charles, go see if they need any help pushing that car somewhere. So Charles gets in front of the truck and he looks and he said, looks back at me and he says, well, they're getting in their vehicle. So that made me a little mad because I knew they was trying to push that car somewhere. So I got out, went over there and asked them, I said, do y'all need some help? And they said, yeah. Now, remind you, they had a girl sitting in the back and a, a little bitty baby. And it was just a scream and crying. It was hot. And uh, I, we was trying to push it, and we couldn't do it because we was pushing it uphill. And I asked him, I said, uh, why are y'all pushing this car? What's wrong? And he said, we're out of gas. I said, well, if that's all it is, I'll just run and get you some gas. So I told Charles, let's find a jug. And we went to the store, and we put $4 worth of gas in a can, a jug. And uh, come back, and we put the gas in their uh, car. Now, mind you, they had that baby, and that baby was screaming, and it was hot, and it was sweating, and she was trying to calm the baby down. So we finally got the gas in the car. Well, they didn't say thank you. They didn't say uh, how much do we owe you or anything. They just jumped in the car, and they left. That's fine. Uh, they had a baby. And I was more worried about that baby than any of those teenagers. Now, these was just kids. Um, we got a lot of this going on. We got kids having kids. And we all know that. Um, but my main concern was, I don't care if they gave me the gas money back. I don't care if they, if they didn't say how much I owe you. I don't care. The thing was that the baby needed to get out of that hot sun. Um, now, when when I give somebody something, if somebody comes up to my door and they say, uh, just say this, you're in church one day. Somebody knocks on the door and says, we're out of gas down the road, uh, or, we not, or we're not going to make it to the gas station because we're fixing to run out of gas. Is there any way y'all can help us? Now, if you give them, let's say you give them $10. You look at them and you say, well, I'm going to give you this, but it's not up to me uh, what you do with it. It's, it's between you and the good Lord what you do with this money. Now, if, if I had put, if that person would have put it in their mind to say, in their mind, they couldn't trust this person, okay, how can you say that? Because you don't know if they really need gas or not. If you help somebody and they're doing something wrong with it, that's up to them and the good Lord. You're out of it by that point. If you give somebody a few dollars for gas and they don't use it for gas, and they lied to you. That's up to them and the good Lord. That's up for the good Lord to decide what happens. Not you. Um, my, my main concern was that baby being in a hot car. Because it was screaming and carrying on. Um, if, if you... If you're going to judge somebody without knowing anybody, you're not you're not really supposed to judge anybody. It tells you in the Bible, do not judge unless you want to be judged. And uh, if I'm going to give somebody something, if I'm going to give somebody something from my heart, and they turn around and they do something else with it that they knew they lied to get it, that ain't up to me to decide what happens. That's up to the good Lord. I done my part. I helped out. And I, I helped out with a good heart. 
That's, that's what all this is about. So I just wanted to say them a few words and remember one day you're going to be in this shape and uh, you ain't going to get no help because somebody is going to think that you don't need it. So, okay, that's all I wanted to say, you guys, and I hope y'all enjoyed me, enjoyed, enjoyed me uh, cooking outside. It was really delicious. Um, I'm going to try to do this more often about cooking outside. Um, so, it's really hot outside, you guys. The sun, boy, it's like a, I don't know, like a torch. So, I'll let y'all go. And I hope y'all have a good day. My dogs are wrestling and wrestling. I think that's all they do all the time is just wrestle. So, all right, I'll see y'all guys later. And y'all have a great day. Bye.